I'm Jasmine Anderson. Biden or Trump? A Vegas-style casino in Nassau and whether more affordable housing should be built in our communities. Long Islanders are divided. Virginia Huey has the results of a new Newsday Siena poll. It's only in Newsday. Donald Trump holds a notable lead over President Biden among Long Island voters in a rematch race for the White House. That's according to a new Siena College poll done in conjunction with Newsday. When asked if the 2024 presidential election were held today, the poll found 48 percent of Long Islanders said they would vote for Trump, while 38 percent picked Biden. Richard Colhane of Bayville is among those who support Trump. I think he deserves to be ahead, and I think he should be the next president. Trump. That's all. I like what he did the first time around, and I think he'll continue in that light to do the same job again. I don't think he's in, in front. Patricia Coger of Hempstead says she hopes Biden will come from behind in the polls. He had the experience. He, 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 he knows what it is. So I like him. When asked about the idea of building a casino at the Nassau Coliseum, the poll found Long Islanders were evenly split on the proposal. 46% favored the plan, which has been proposed Las Vegas Sands. The same number opposed it. Critics are concerned about a possible increase in traffic, crime, and gambling addiction. But casino supporters say it'll create jobs and boost the local economy. I do believe that it would be a shame not to have the jobs on Long Island. And it's more about the economy at this point, to me. When asked about affordable housing options, Long Islanders were asked about creating multifamily apartments in their community. 48% didn't like the idea, and 46% was in favor. I would be for that. I would. People have to live somewhere. Not at all. Not at all. I've seen it. It just it crowds everything. For Newsday TV, I'm Virginia Huey. Read more about the Newsday Siena poll on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. An arrest in the murder of a man on the Poospatuck Reservation in Mastic. Police say that James Brown Jr. of Mastic shot and killed Umar Equier. It happened two weeks ago on Poospatuck Lane. Brown is in court today. Police have not released a possible motive. Some people are already out of town and many more are getting ready to go. But the weather could impact your holiday travel plans. Heavy rain and strong winds will move into our area this evening. It will stick around overnight and into tomorrow. It's part of a severe weather system stretching from the Gulf to the Great Lakes. The good news here, we're looking dry for Thanksgiving. That's all happening with a record number of people expected to fly for the holiday. The Department of Transportation says it's working closely with airlines to help work around the weather and limit delays. While we can't control the weather, we will also be using every tool at our disposal to keep cancellations and delays as low as possible in the first place, including working collaboratively with the airlines wherever that is the appropriate approach. Tomorrow is expected to be the busiest day of the season to travel. On the roads, gas prices are falling. The Long Island average for a gallon of regular gas is 346. That's down six cents from last week and down 30 cents from a year ago. Only a Newsday, Long Island food banks are stepping up for the holidays as families face a quote, hunger cliff. Long Island food bank officials tell us food insecurity has worsened this holiday season. Factors include inflation and the end of some pandemic era benefits. Long Island Cares says 234,000 Long Islanders are food insecure. Only in Newsday, Babylon Town wants to loosen restrictions on where recreational pot shops can open. The town supervisor says the move would add dozens of potential locations for the marijuana retail shops. The town is proposing expanding the radius when it comes to the distance separating dispensaries from homes. More fallout today in the wake of the hack that crippled Suffolk's computer systems. County lawmakers are set to vote today on $1.6 million in cyber upgrades. It follows last year's attack. Among other things, the resolution directs information technology personnel across departments to meet monthly to discuss cybersecurity. Now to the sounds of the season, whether it's rock, country, big band, or opera, there's dozens of upcoming local holiday concerts. Shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. With Santa Claus. 
at Pages Sao Valentiani will perform Christmas standards at the Paramount in Huntington November 30th. And it's not officially Christmas until Darlene Love plays on Long Island. This year, the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer presents her Love for the Holiday show at the Landmark on Main Street in Fort Washington, December 7th. For a complete list and more about all the shows, just go to Newsday.com, click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Your hyper-local Tuesday weather now. Here's a look at West Lake Beach and Inlet and in Montauk. Increasing clouds this afternoon. Steady rain on the way for this evening into tomorrow morning. Let's talk about it. Here's a look at your day planner. Cloudy today at MacArthur Airport. Highs around 46 degrees. Tonight, rain begins and temps remain in the 40s. But tomorrow, expect more showers, bringing warmer weather as we reach a high around 61 degrees. A look at your seven-day forecast coming up. Long Island weather is brought to you by Home Tax Saver, PTRC Incorporated. High School Sports is sponsored by PC Richard & Son. Hi, I'm Greg Sara. The Long Island Championships, they are upon us after a wild weekend of county title games. We begin with Garden City and Cary. Take a look at this run. Michael Burkery, he had 201 yards and two touchdowns for the undefeated Trojans. However, he left the game early with an ankle injury. The Seahawks, they broke through, well, when Will Tolliver turned the corner and raced 51 yards to the end zone, 53 seconds into the fourth quarter, but it was too little, too late. Top-seeded Garden City, they beat second-seeded Cary 35-7 for its eighth straight Nassau Conference II title. It was their 41st consecutive victory. They faced North Babylon Saturday for the Long Island Class II crown. Definitely a great feeling, but we still know that we have one more week of football to play that we still have to get ready for, and we're going to have a lot of work to do. Over in Suffolk, Carissa Kelman, well, she was there when Floyd were crowned champs after a big win over Sachem North. Sachem North handed Floyd its only loss of the season. They're looking to do it again tonight for the Suffolk crown. But Floyd returns two of its best players in Caden Lashevich and halfback Jaden Montalvo. Will Sachem North be able to shut them down and punch their ticket to the Long Island Championship? Both teams are forced to punt on the first two possessions. But then, deep inside Floyd territory, quarterback A.J. Kinnett finds Gio Alvarez near midfield. Alvarez is going, going, and he's gone for the 89-yard score with two minutes left in the first quarter to put Floyd up 7-0. Floyd's defense stifles Sachem North quarterback Anthony Vino and his offense. Here's linebacker Justice Darling with the third sack of the game. Jaden Peacock then makes his second interception for Floyd with 32 seconds left in the half to preserve the Colonials' 7-0 lead. In the third quarter, Sachem North finishes off a lengthy drive with a 23-yard field goal by Zach DeMilt to get on the board. But Jaden Montalvo, back from a knee injury, returns the ensuing kickoff 45 yards to the Sachem North 36, and then he scores on this two-yard run to put Floyd ahead 13-3. Then early in the fourth, Sachem North running back Nasir Altez has this one-yard reach on fourth and goal to cut the lead to 13-9. But Floyd has an answer. Montalvo's second touchdown run with four minutes left makes it 20-9. But Floyd's not done. Here comes junior varsity call-up Jaquan Thomas up the sideline for a 64-yard score to put the game away. Top-seeded Floyd earns the Suffolk Division I crown, defeating two-seeded Sachem North 26-9. That's a tough team, well-coached, a lot of weapons, throwing and running, and uh, for my defense to stop them the way they did is, uh, I'm very, very proud of them. I couldn't have done any of it without my offensive line. You know, they worked very hard in practice. They're always doing well, and I really appreciate them. At Stony Brook University, Carissa Kelman, Newsday TV. Nice job, Carissa. Floyd will play Nassau champ Massapequa for the Long Island Class 1 title at Hofstra on Friday. We wish all the teams and their families a happy Thanksgiving and good luck in the Long Island Championships. Make them memorable. For more of them, go to Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video.
holiday shopping for teens can be tough, but Elisa DiStefano has some help and a story you'll see only in Newsday. At Saltwater in Huntington, they have great gifts that celebrate life on Long Island. We have a lot of unique products. One of our top sellers, though, is our Beach to Boat shorts. And the reason being is the teens are kind of messy. So why don't you go ahead and pour this water on top of them and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Keeps them nice and dry. This is a really cool yeah. um, gift and party trick. We have these amazing lightweight hoodies that the kids just love. So this one in particular is our new design. It's our water dogs. Ooh, which they has are lightweight. Our family dogs on them. They're oh, also cute. super soft. We come up here, we have the Bronco design, which everybody seems to love. It's got the kayak, the Long Island lifestyle right there. And then of course our Long Island anchor, which covers over a hundred towns on the island. So this one really has the Long Island vibe. They also sell a variety of hats. This is great for someone who's maybe changing in size or you don't know what size to get. Yes. How's it look? Makes it really comfortable. Comfy, warm, oh, yeah. stylish. Now to Tandy Girl in Comac for trendy tween and teen gifts. Give me a gift that I cannot go wrong with. Bags you can personalize. All right, and you've got a lot of them oh, here. Yes. Pick from brightly colored backpacks, totes and pouches, and then choose a sticker patch with personality. Yeah, aren't they cute? And the yeah. kids love to trade them. They're also big on beaded bracelets. These, they come in all different kinds of colors. So they're stackable, so any price point you want to spend, you can yes. just add them or up. Or you could pick a bracelet that has a special Meaning. message right. on it. Yes. Like adventure, born to lead, love yourself, so you're giving a little gift of inspiration. Or choose comfy and cozy, from slippers to shackets to sweatshirts. Good vibes only. I love to give good vibes and smiles, of course. And number one, it's oversized. Okay, so go with oversized or cropped. Nothing in between. And everybody loves loungewear. And these have such cute patterns on them. And they are super soft. So to all, a good night. For sure in these. Elisa DiStefano, Newsday TV. All really great gift ideas. Thank you, Elisa. Read more about local places to shop for teens on Newsday.com. Just click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. A turkey has escaped the Thanksgiving table on the North Fork. Rachel Weiss has the story you'll see only in Newsday. There's some foul play going on at this backyard in Aquabog. And this turkey is at the center of it all. I think he thinks he's the leader for sure. Virginia Scudder adopted her turkey during the pandemic after seeing a Facebook post about him. He fits right in with her roosters, chickens, and ducks. The family named him after a Disney character, Megamort. He can be a little intimidating when you first see him. Um, my neighbors and my friends, you know, chuckle because, um, you know, they'll come to the yard and he'll, he'll definitely walk the perimeter of the yard and just let it know, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Um, but it's really just, he wants to be friends. Virginia did some research on what her new feathery friend would need to live happily in her yard in terms of food and protection. So we have fresh water every day in order to maintain uh, turkeys and ducks. They have to have fresh water even throughout the winter time. So we have two pools. We fill them up every day and every night. We change out the water and having grain and fresh straw out for them to um, stay warm during the evening. Her father also built a pen in her backyard for all the the birds to stay in at night. Every Thanksgiving, Humane Long Island rescues turkeys from live slaughter markets and makes them available to foster and adopt on Long Island. For those interested, Virginia has some advice. You need lots of room for turkeys. They need to be able to move around freely and stretch out their feathers, uh, walk around and just be able to enjoy life just like a, any of us would want to. Nobody wants to be cooped up, no pun intended. Rachel Weiss for Newsday TV. Free as a bird. Read more about living with turkeys on Newsday.com. Just click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Get in the game with Newsday. The best team of sports reporters and columnists bring you in-depth analysis, behind-the-scenes stories, and news from inside the locker room. Get in the game when you subscribe to Newsday, your destination for total sports coverage at Newsday.com slash sports. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Thank you so much for watching. We'll leave you with a look at your hyper local seven day forecast.